Hello guys, what's up? <clears throat> welcome to this tutorial. Welcome to my channel, Priyasad with Dev. Today we have a brand new tutorial. We're gonna take a look at the complex animation uh, rotation effect, uh, rotation 3D effect on Swift and Swift UI with tap style. So whether you are a beginner with Swift UI or you are an experienced developer, you gonna you don't want to miss this uh, tutorial because we gonna build a beautiful rotation 3d effect on swift ui and beautiful tab style and yep uh, you're gonna build about the projection effect and we're gonna build in the custom projection effect with swift and swift ui and we're gonna use geometry effect geometry reader and beautiful animation here so uh be with me and before uh, before we jump to the coding and before I show you the uh, project that we're gonna build, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for the notification and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends and also feel free to comment me out whether you like it or not, or if you have any opinion, if you have any suggestion uh, for the next tutorial or for the course. Of course, this is, welcome, this is uh, so welcome to me and yep i want to hear your opinion so feel free to write me down in the comment section your opinion your suggestion all thing you want you can uh, write there uh, i will respond if you have any question also with, uh, for swift and swift ui uh this is so welcome and i will respond to it asap so enough talking let me just show you the project i ran it in my uh simulator here you can see uh we have a flipped uh animation here so this is so beautiful and uh, as you can see here it goes and back i just move it slowly that you can see this is so much beautiful and you can uh, level up your coding by this tutorial or uh, level up your design, your app design with Swift and Swift UI. So uh, be with me and yep, as I, as always, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and so on. So uh, uh, this project, this, uh, this is one page project. So uh, it, uh, it contains uh, I think one uh, six uh, components here. One for header, one for the uh, uh, main view here, one for the slider here. You can, as you can see, and one for book and one for the isolation, isometric view. So uh, this is our uh, project review. So let me just. In the Xcode, I just press command uh, option, uh, command shift and N for the new project. So book a page, book page, flip, flip animation here. Make sure the interface is set to Swift UI and the language is set to Swift and the storage none and don't include the test here. So next. And hit the create. And let me just see. Yep. That's it. So there you go. And I miss, miss a spell it. So this is a flip animation. Flip animation here. Yep. So don't worry about that. So first of all, we have some assets here. And don't worry about the assets and code. I will put a link in the description so you can check uh, the description for the for our repo uh, GitHub repository for this project. And yep, uh, we have some assets let me just go through it this is our background here this is the orange indicator here so this is the box we have four box so 
For our box, we have to create a model. So we have to create a new group here. So naming model. And then we have a new save file here. So this is a book model. And here it goes. So here we have to say destruct of book model then we, this is identifiable so we have an id variable in it and this is a hashable and we have a let's id type string then equals to uuid dot uh, dot uuid string then we have a title this type of string let's image Again, type of a string and let author again type of string. So this is it. <clears throat> and here we, we have to define a sample uh, array for our box. So var sample box type of box model equal to an array so i just want to don't want to type all out so i just copy and paste it here it goes let me just see yep. and let me just clear this up and here it goes we have four books summer adventure our bottle fry the beautiful night walk with mouth and we have the image and the author uh, we don't define the id because the id is defined by itself so this is it this is our model so after that we have to create a new group here naming view for our views for our component so as i show you here we have uh, different uh, kind of components so we first of all we're gonna tackle this top rated uh, header so mm, here we have a new Swift UI file and name header view so header view so in our header view we have to say we have a HS stack here we have a HS stack with the spacing of uh, spacing of 15 and we have a text for it so top rated dot font will be title and dot font weight <coughs> dot medium and the foreground color would be foreground style would be dot black and then we have the opacity of 0 0.7 that's it and here we have to frame it so width max width would be dot infinity and alignment would be dot already here it goes and here we have to set a padding for it and, uh, let me just see Sorry about that. And here it goes. So 25, I think it's gonna be a lot. So 15. Yep, 15 is good. This is our header view. Then we're gonna tackle the home view. Let me just add a new file here. So new file, safety eye view. And we have a home view. So in our home view, we take a box, so at state, private, variable, current, book, type of book model, equal to sample box, dot first, and then we have explanation mark here. So here we have a via stack and 
and here we are gonna add three other components so uh, for the first we uh, build the header so header view add it yep then yep uh, then we're gonna uh, build the box slider so here in you save file I press command and N you can use uh, for the creating a new file in Xcode you, you can press command and N or you can right click in the uh, directory and the new file here so uh, it is the same so so we have to create the box slider here so let me just create it so swift ui file box slider uh, view and we have to bind our box so binding variable of current box equal uh, type of box model here and then here you're gonna pass that constant and sample box zero and here we're gonna pass the current book yep i think this is good here it goes so here we have a tab view so tab view And for the selection, we have the dollar sign current book, bound, uh, bound, bounding variables. So, and for the contents, we have to for each through the our sample box. Uh, we don't specify the ID because it's a specified and uh, identifiable struct. So uh, we don't want to pass the ID. So book in and here it goes so here we have to define our book view um, let me just see a new view so here we have a book view here so in our book view we have to create our variable so let's book type of book uh, book model and here again the book mm, let me just book a constant or we can use just simple sample box zero so here we have geometry reader geometry reader and here we have to say let size equal to dollar zero dot size and let rect equal to dollar zero dot frame dot global dollar zero is basically is the variable uh, that pass you can say size in and then instead of dollar zero you can use the size but uh, you can also say that dollar zero that size or if there is two variable you can use dollar zero for the first and the dollar one for the second and so on and so forth so let min x minimum x of uh, this is the correct that minimum x minus 15 uh, less than zero then would be uh, rec dot min x uh, minus 15 else would be the opposite of that so rec minus rec in dot x minus 15 sorry about that so we have to define our progress so let progress 
equal to main x divided by rect dot width and we have the let rotation equal to progress multiplied by 45 this is our degree here we have a z stack so here that we have our z stack let me just see what's going on here We don't have any error. Yep, will succeed. Okay. So we have to create our isometric view. This is the main goal for this tutorial. So this is what's where is the magic happens. So here we have isometric view. And in the isometric view, we have to create two structs, one for custom projection and two the isometric view. So let me just first of all create the custom projection. So animatable, animatable projection transform struct. Custom projection and it's confirmed to geometry effect. So basically, it returns a geometry effect that we can use for our projection and we can use it for the effect, the rotation effect, and your rotation 3D effect in our views. So here we have to. Uh, Accept a value of CG float, and then we have the um, computed variable. So variable animatable data, and this is type of the CG float, and then we have to get it. So for get, we have to just return the value, and for the set. We have to return. Uh, you don't want to return, so value equal to new value. So this is good. And here we don't want the preview right now. So after that, we have to say we have the function. So function effect value and the size and it returns a projection transform and we have variable of transform equal to ca transform ca transform to the identity so uh yep that's it and we have transform dot m 11 the entry at position 101 in the matrix so equal to value if value equal to 0 then it returns 0 0.01 else will be the value this is good and we have to return that init and we have to Return that in a transform. So this is our custom projection, and this goes back a geometry effect. The value for our rotation effect. So here, in our isometric view, we have to uh, manipulate it here. So we have to create a context content. Sorry about that content content view then we have bottom again type of view then we have to create a slide and type of view again and then we are good to go so here it goes and here we have 
true variable, so variable content, again content, variable of button, type of button, and variable slide, type of slide, so this is good. And here we have another uh, variable for depth. So this is the isometric depth. Depth here. CG float. Yep, that's good. And before the body, we have to initialize it. So in it. And. Uh, for that, we don't want to use it, so uh, let me just create another init, so init, and then for the depth, we have to accept it as cg float, then for the content, we have at view builder, and content, this is at scaping, scaping, content, and for the rest this is the same, so for the bottom is the same, and for the slide is the same, so at view builder, and we say bottom. Scaping button Yep, and here again at view builder slide at scaping Yep, good to go, and here it goes. We have to create the self dot tap equal to tap and self the content equal to content self dot bottom equal to bottom and self dot slide equal to slide and there are minus so this is good and here in our body We have a geometry reader, so geometry reader, and again let size equal to dollar zero dot size. Here we have a zia stack, so in our zia stack we have a content, content, yep, and then we have the bottom. And we have a scale effect, and we have y depth, and anchor will be the bottom, and we have to frame it so height would be depth, and the alignment would be the bottom. And here we have to blur it, so overlay, overlay, and here we have the content, so here we have a rectangle, let me just, rectangle, <coughs> and dot fill, black, capacity 0.25, and here we have to blur it, so blur 
and for the radius we have 2.5 this is good and here we have that clipped here we have to apply the projection effect so that projection effect and we have to initialize it so initialize it again we have to initialize it a b c d t x and t y so for the a would be 1 0 1 1 and 0 and 0 so this is good and here we have the define offset and for the y would be depth and we have to frame it and max width would be the infinity and alignment would be the bottom this is good and we have to add a slide a slide here so that scale effect and here we have the x the depth and here we have anchor the trailing <coughs> and here we have to frame it so width again depth and the alignment would be the trailing and here again we have to overlay it so overlay content and here we have the exact same so rectangle dot fill that's black capacity 0 0.25 and here we have to blur it so blue radius and 2.5 and after that we have to clip it so clipped and here we have to apply the projection effect so we have that projection effect and we have to double init it so init and again in init we have to initialize it so for the a we have one for the b for, we have one again for the c we have zero for the d we have one and for the tx zero ty zero this is good and again offset here we have to x depth and we have to frame it so we have to frame it so max bit dot infinity and the uh, alignment would be the trailing here after that we have to frame our z stack width would be size dot width and height would be size dot height to make sure that our z stack is bound to the uh, screen bounds and after that we have to create background and we have to say click so this is good and back to the block view here so in our block view we have to pass the isometric view here and here in depth we have 10 then let me just get rid of this so here we have color white then for the bottom we have color and white and for the slide <coughs> we have the color and white again so here it goes and here we have to frame it so we have that frame and we have width and we have size that width divided by 1.2 and the height again will be size that height divided by 1.5 we have shadow and we have color of black and we have the opacity of 0 0.12 and we have radius of 5 
and for the x we have the 15 and for the y we have 8 yep good to go and let me just yep and we have another shadow i just cut and paste this so color black the opacity is just 0.1 the radius would be 6 <clears throat> and the x would be minus 10 and the y would be minus 8 <clears throat> after that we have an image and we have book dot image here yep good so let me just see good so this is dot resizable dot aspect ratio content mode dot fail yep and we have to frame it so width would be size dot width divided by uh, 1.2 and the height again uh, size that height divided by 1.5 you have to clip it it's clipped and here we have a shadow <coughs> uh, <coughs> the color would be that black that opacity would be 0 0.1 the radius would be 6 and the x would be 10 and y would be 8 so this is good and here we have a rotation of 2d effect for the first one we have that in it and here we have degrees and we pass the rotation and for the axis would be x zero y would be one and z would be zero again so this is good and after that we have the anchor i think yep anchor we that living and we have a perspective here perspective one here it goes and here we have modif add the modifiers here so modifier custom we have to pass the custom projection and the value would be one plus then we have minus progress <coughs> and then Yep, if minus progress less than uh, one, it is, it passed the progress. Then it would be just minus one, and then we're ready to go. So this is good, and as you can see, we have a little here. So here we have offset. So for our offset, we have to create a new file here. So new function, just a simple function. So we have a new file. So utility, utility, let me see, utility, utility. So in our utility here, we have func, just a simple function. So func index of, func index of, and we, uh, we accept the block, block model, then it passes in it, int, and if let index equal to sample box, dot first index of block, then we return the index, else return this here 
So this is so simple function for just uh, uh, for just uh, searching the index of a book in an array. So in our book view here, <coughs> we just set the offset with the x index of and we pass book then if greater than zero uh, it pass the minus progress and let me just see min uh, minus progress multiplied by 45 else would be that zero and here we have the frame it so max width would be that infinity and max height again would be that infinity after that we have to padding it so padding padding and we have padding of horizontal and 50 so here good we have it we have our book view here so here in our book slider slider view in our for each we have to pass book view and for the book we have to pass book and we have to tag it for a book this is good and here we have to say tab view style so here we have page and here we have index mode display but never and we have to pass a background here to it. So we have image, background, yep. And this is resizable and uh, scale to fail. Yep, good. Here it goes. And let me just add it to our home view here. So. Here we have to say the box slider view and we have pass the current book. Yep, and it remains as the just the bottom slider here. So let me just create it. In our view, we have a new file, so shift UI file, and this is a slider bottom view, so slider bottom view. Here it goes. Again, we have a binding variable here of current current book type of book model. And here let me just pass it current book dot constant sample box zero. Here we have via stack so via stack and again geometry geometry reader geometry reader with size equal to Dollar sign zero dot size. We have H stack and we have spacing of zero. So here we have for each loop for our sample box and we say book in and we have let index equal to index of book then we have a let current index equal to index of current book so here it goes and here we have via stack so here we have alignment alignment equal to uh, dot leading and we have a spacing of 
18. And here we have a text, <clears throat> book, the title. Then we have a font, a large title. We have to say bold. This is a VSI in an HSI. Yep. I don't know why. Okay. We have a foreground color. We can style that uh, that black and that capacity zero point seven. <clears throat> and we have offset. So basically, we just uh, take the offset based off the index. So we have XCG float of. Uh, current index multiplied by minus size not width plus 30 and here we have opacity so if the current index equal to <coughs> index then would be 1 else would be zero here it goes so you have animation here so in our animation I think we have value yep so that's interactive spring and here we have a uh, interactive spring response dumping function and blend here response equal to 0 0.6 dumping fraction 0 0.7 and blend duration 0 0.7 after that we have a delay we have to delay it so current index if current index less than index then it would be 0 0.1 one also would be zero and the value would be current index equal to index. This is our animation part. Here we have to say text and here we have by and your string manipulation book that author and we have the font that call out and foreground style would be the gray and the offset again we have to pass x again cg float of current index multiplied by minus size that width plus 30 sorry about that so book uh, slider bottom offset and here we have again opacity current index if current index equal to index then it would be one else would be zero and again for the animation is the same I think yep the same let me just copy and paste this one so for the animation we have that interactive spring for the response we pass 0 0.6 for the dumping fraction we have 0 0.7 and for the plane duration we pass 0 0.7 we have to pass the de a delay if the current index less than index then would be 0 0.1 else would be 0 and the value if is uh, current index equal to index or not so here we have it after that we have to frame it so we have a frame that frame so width size that width plus 30 and alignment would be that length so we have leading here so Good, and here, let me just see, 
after our geometry reader, we have the padding and we have to pass that horizontal and 15 and we have to frame it at height of 100 and here we have a padding of that button and we have 10 after that we have to create our this progress bar here so we have a Z stack for it and yes Z stack we have alignment dot uh, leading and here for the contents we have capsule dot fill and here we have gray dot gray and we have total capacity 0 0.4 here geometry reader again let size equal to dollar sign zero dot size then we have again capsule let fill here we have to pass our color so color is the orange indicator so orange indicator and we have frame it so frame width and here we have a CG float index of book this is the current book and then here we have divided by CG float sample box that count minus one so basically this is a um, uh, find out for find out where the current index of an array is based so and multiply by size dot width and here we have to animate it animation here so that animation uh, we have the one with value so again we have the interactive spring and yep we have the response of 0 0.6 we have a damping fraction 0 0.75 and we have blend duration 0 0.75 and for the value would be the current book here it goes and here for our z stack we have to frame it so frame height would be 4 and here we have padding the top and we have pass 10 and here we have a padding here we have pass we can pass in array so that horizontal dot horizontal and dot bottom we pass 15 here we are good to go so in our home view we have to pass the slider so slider bottom view and here we have to pass the current book to it. Good, and we have to frame it here. So frame width. Uh, sorry about that. Max width. Dot infinity and how max height would be again. Dot infinity. Infinity. And alignment would be dot top. good here it just uh, we can add it to the content view here so just pass the home view here and we are good to go I think so let me just run it so what is going on here yep let me just open up some space here so 
I just print comment and R to build this app for us in our simulator here. So before um, before we check the app if it's correct or not, uh, <clears throat> make sure to uh, subscribe my channel because I dev. I have a, a playlist for Swift and Swift UI tutorials. There are I think now it's seventy five videos there that you can check it out and. Uh, Hit the like button, hit the bell for the notification and share this video with your friends. And if you have any question, if you have any comments, if you have any opinion, you can write me down in the uh, comment section here. And yep, this is our app here. So this is it. And here it goes, I think here. Uh, we missed something as you can see yep so let me just see uh, in the isometric view here I think we create some shadow book view I think yep so in our book view I think you have two shadows here in a book view frame it and then two shadows here it is six minus ten eight and book image rotation effect modifier and yep this is good so an isometric view here mm. here we have to overlay the rectangle fill black opacity zero point mm, and the radius would be that bottom mm -hmm. this is good So, <clears throat> so here it goes, our um, beautiful tap style, tap view animation here, flip animation here that you can use in your next app or just you can learn from it. So thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, support me and until the next one, be safe and practice until you make it. Bye-bye, guys.